What is the best alternative for chat base? Well, we're looking for not only an AI chatbot. If we're trying to completely automate customer service, we need something that's going to do more than just respond to common questions from customers. So you can see this is an example conversation with chat base. Uh, and the problem that we have here is if I ask it a complex question like, can I cancel my subscription? It's just responding with a basic response, telling people to email customer support. And while that's okay, we want customers to feel like they're getting a little bit more out of it. They want to feel like they're actually getting proper support and this really isn't enough. So this is a new piece of software. It's called ChatIQ AI and it's going to allow us to do exactly the same thing, have conversations with an AI chatbot that's trained on the entire website's data, but also it's going to allow us to submit support tickets. So as a customer, we feel like not only are we getting the contact details from the chatbot, but we're also able to submit extra information to that company. Uh, and then obviously from that information, we should be able to get a quick response but as a company we want to be able to be notified of this and this is exactly what chat iq does it's guaranteeing customer support instantly so if we come into chat iq and by the way you can get started for free the link is down below in the description you can start a free trial um you can build your own chatbot. You can see here this is the chatbot playground where we can customize a whole host of things like adding our own logo, branding. Uh, we can change all of the all of the text that you can see on the screen right now on the chatbot. You can change and customize. Uh, we can add custom instructions. We can add all of our business contact details to make sure uh, the chatbot is able to reference it. So, for example, if there's specific links like tracking links, whatever, add it to here, and it will always be able to reference that in every single response. But this is the really cool thing. I can turn ticketing on or ticketing off. So you can see now, if I come back to the chatbot live on the website, there is no option to submit a support ticket. If I want to, I can turn it back on again uh, and that support ticketing is there. And this happens live on the website. So as we play around with this uh, in our dashboard, once we're happy with it, it's going to change live instantly. Okay, cool. So how does this actually work? Well, it's basically exactly the same, but imagine Chat IQ as a file manager for all of your data for your business. We've got all of the links, we've got every single page from our website. Uh, we've got, for example, PDFs, which is a, a customer FAQ I've uploaded. Uh, we've got text, so this is actually transcripts from a video that I've uploaded. And then we've got all the URLs from our website as well. And you can upload hundreds of URLs if you want to. And we can actually categorize it into different folders. So you can see here, if we go to the chat IQ folder, I've just been playing around with these, I can easily find data. And the reason I've done this uh, and created it like this is so I wanted to make it very, very easy for you to be able to pick and choose whichever data you want to use in a chatbot. So rather than like Chatbase, which just scrapes your website and just will create a chatbot for you, uh, you can't then reuse that data and create a new chatbot. It's very, very annoying having to constantly rescrape your data. Data. So in this case, we have a central database of every bit of data that we've ever scraped and we can pick and choose which data that we want and which chatbot that we add it to. So if we create a chatbot here, and we call it test. We can then have a look at the files that it's using, which means it's only ever going to reference these three items. So we come back to our chatbots. Uh, this is one that I created earlier. You can see here I've already started to customize it. Um, if we come to the data section, you can see this is the data that this chatbot's trained on. And then if we come to ticketing here, we can actually customize the uh, ticketing section. Let me just refresh this. So we can actually customize these sections here. So the support categories. Uh, so when somebody submits a support ticket, you can see here I've got it set up as I've got a bug or I'm missing a feature or account problems. Uh, and we can play around with this. And this color branding will change depending on the color that we choose for our brand. Uh, also, it's going to allow us to add knowledge and remove knowledge very, very easily from our chatbot. But really cool thing is when we remove knowledge here, it's not going to remove it from our data feed. It's just going to remove it from that chatbot. So it's very customizable what you can do with your specific chatbot. Awesome. So what happens when somebody submits a support ticket? Well, it comes into our support ticketing section here. So we can have a look at just the open tickets. And I've done some examples. This is uh, an example open ticket. This customer has submitted two tickets. There's currently one unread support ticket. Uh, and you can see here, this is the one that we've closed. This is the one that's currently open. If I reply to this ticket, you can see I can actually see the conversation history that somebody's had with this chatbot. And I can then ask the AI to provide me with, uh, ask the customer for their email address. 
obviously this is test data, but I've said here, ask the customer for their email they signed up with so we, we can refund them. I'm going to send that to the AI, and it's now going to use the data that the chatbot's trained on to generate an email response. You can see here, uh, sorry to hear you're experiencing difficulties. Uh, in order to assist you further, can you please provide us with the email address you associated with your account? So now your customer support team doesn't need to write a response for every single email. They can just do this themselves. We can just fill out the name of our support rep here, and then we can actually send this email directly to Gmail uh, and then send it through Gmail. Once we've done that, we can then actually click close that support ticket and it will no longer be showing up here under our open tickets it will be moved into our closed ticket awesome so that is how chat iq works but it goes one step further because as a business when somebody submits a support ticket on our website we want to know as quickly as possible and we want to make sure that if somebody submitted a high priority support ticket we can get to that ticket very very quickly so i set up a system which allows us to actually get notifications so if you input your best email address here we can actually customize the email notification that we will get so if we have a high priority dispute or question from a customer uh, then these are typically things such as refunds and disputes we will get a notification but if we don't want to be spammed with low priority uh, questions which are typically just suggestions or little ideas that customers have or sometimes it's just spam that's being sent through uh, we can filter all of this out so we're not going to waste time on low priority support tickets we can just save those changes and then now our chatbot will only notify us of medium and high priority support tickets so like I say, you can get started for free. If you click the top link down below in the description, you get a two-week free trial. Just click on this button here. Uh, start your free trial. Uh, create your account. Put in your card details and start your free trial. You're not going to be charged at all, anything, for two weeks. And then after those two weeks, if you want to keep using it, it's going to cost you $30 a month.